Hello and welcome to Python tutorial 19 on classes and instance objects. Now what is a class? A class is a template to create objects. We can also think of a class as a pattern or guide to create objects. In Python, the classes support object oriented programming with concepts like inheritance and multiple inheritance. A class has class attributes. In Python, a class can be updated even after defining it. In Python, the objects created from a class are called instance objects. Now let us see the format of a class in Python. So first we have the class keyword followed by the class name colon and one or more statements. Let us now see the example of a class in Python. Now this is the class tree. Now first it has a doc string. Doc string is an optional attribute. It has some documentation for the users of this tree class. Then we have species. Species is a class data attribute. It has some data about the class. Then we have the describe me method. Describe me is a class method and it is also a class attribute. Now let us define this class. Now the class is created. Now we can work with this class. So first let us see the data attribute. The tree dot and let us select species. So this says it is an oak which is the data defined in the class definition. We can also see the doc string of the class tree dot two leading underscores doc and two trailing underscores. So this gives us the documentation of the class, a class to represent a tree. This is taken from the doc string data attribute in the class definition, which is a string enclosed by triple quotes. Now we can also update the class attribute of a class. So let us update the species data attribute a tree dot species and we can define some other species data a tree dot species is equal to birch. So the class has now been updated. Now if we look at tree dot species it gives us birch. The important thri thing is class instantiation. We can create objects from a class. So how we do it is put some variable name is equal to name of the class followed by empty parentheses. So this will create the instance object X. Now X is a tree. We can now work with X. So X dot species so it is birch we can call the class method on x x dot describe me it says i'm a tree which is given in the class definition now in order to find out whether an instance object belongs to a class or not we can use the is instance function is instance x tree. So this will tell us whether x is a tree or not. So it is true. So x is indeed an instance object from the class tree. Now let us see another example in Python where there are multiple instance objects that are different from each other. I have already created this class here.
now this is the class cat and following the colon is the entire class definition now cat has two class attributes first is the family which is a data attribute next we have the init which is a class method init stands for initialize init prepares the initial states state of an instance object it is also called a constructor now here init has two parameters the first parameter is self and the second parameter is name now the first parameter of every class method is a reference to the current instance object in python this parameter is named self next let us create two cat objects first is c1 so c1 is equal to cat and in the in it we have passed the name the name of the cat is patches next we create the c2 object and in the in it we pass the name as tiger we don't need to pass self as an argument just the second or argument onwards in this case there is just the second argument so we are just passing the name now let us run this now here we are going to print c1 dot family and c2 dot family now family is a class variable family is shared by all instance objects now family in the cat has a string feline because all cats are feline now let us run this and see what it prints so it prints c1 dot family is feline and c2 dot family is also feline so this is an example of a class variable which is common for all the instance objects now let me show one other thing now name is an instance variable why because it is unique to every instance object so we are printing c1 dot name and c2 dot name so let us print this and here we see that c1 dot name and c2 dot name are different this is because name is an instance variable name is unique to each instance object this makes sense because each cat has a unique name now let us see one more concept now once an instance object is created in python it is possible to add more data attributes to it now we can see that the skill data attribute is not defined in the cat class in the cat class we just have the family and in it class attributes skill is not there but once c2 is created we can add more data attributes to it so let us say we assign c2 dot skill is catch mice and print it out this is perfectly legal in python and let us see what it does so it does print c2 dot skill is catch mice so this is how we can work with classes and instance objects thank you for watching this tutorial and this is the end of the python series see you in other programming tutorials thank you